Hey, what's up everybody? You already know what time it is. It's time to talk about analyzing your e-commerce business's health, right? We're here to talk about money. How to know if your business is profitable, whether you're selling on eBay, Walmart, Jet, Shopify, Amazon, your own website, doesn't matter. The information discussed in this video applies to all of those marketplaces. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stay lit. What's up everybody, thanks for joining us. Today we're talking about analyzing the health of your company. Especially with 2019 just ending a couple days ago, it is crucial to know if your Amazon business is profitable or not. There are tons of sellers out there pumping out huge numbers on Amazon.com and they're not profitable companies. They're making no money, their business is not profitable. And maybe they're very aware of that and they're making some internal changes to fix it, or, which is most common, they have absolutely no idea that their business is not making money because they do not understand their numbers. It is crucial to understand your numbers when you're selling on Amazon and review them monthly, quarterly, and yearly, and then get those averages for the month, average for the quarter, average for the year, and sit down a few times a year with your entire team, or if it's just you with yourself, and analyze that information. It is pertinent to growing a successful and large Amazon business. If you don't understand your numbers, your business will fail. I can promise you that, promise you that. So from our experience, we've not only increased our profit margins by seven points, from 2018 to 2019, so last year we increased our profit margin by seven percentage points, so our profit margin was 7% higher in 2019 than it was in 2018, but we've also helped dozens of clients turn their Amazon businesses around and go from unprofitable, loss-leading Amazon sellers to very profitable Amazon businesses. And it didn't happen overnight. They took the suggestions that we gave to them. We sat down together through a Zoom video screen share and analyzed their company's health and saw where they were bleeding money and what they needed to make and new prerequisites they needed to have for buying inventory and new systems they had to put in place for streamlining their efficiencies. And now their businesses are becoming successful or are much more successful than they were when we first started working with them eight, 12 months ago. Game changer. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to know for your company is obviously margins, right? And when I'm talking about margins, I'm talking about gross margins and profit margins. The first number we're gonna analyze, we call it your GPPA, right? So GPPA. And what that is, it's your gross profit per ASIN, right? And it's very simple to get your gross profit per ASIN. You take your gross profits and you divide them by the number of orders you sold. And the best way to do these metrics is on a monthly basis. So, and you're really 30 day basis. So from today, you can analyze your gross profits and your orders for the past 30 days and get a number here. And it's gonna really give you insight into your company. So what gross profits is, is profits before expenses. So we're not including, gross profits doesn't include labor, if you have employees, what you're paying them, and if you're using gas to go drive and pick products up at, at retail stores or you're gonna go do a pickup at your distributor. It doesn't include rent if you're renting a facility, storage unit, doesn't it include boxes, tape, any supplies, knives. It doesn't include any of that. Gross profits is just the amount of money you're left with after selling fees on Amazon. And we have a great video right here. It'll pop up at the top right. You can check that out. It explains how to get gross profits. But gross profits are just total listing price 
minus referral fee, minus FBA fee or shipping fee, minus cost of goods, minus storage fee, those are your gross profits. So you take gross profits and divide that by your numbers of orders. All right, so let's say in the past 30 days, you did $100,000 in gross profits. Right, and in those past, those same past 30 days, you, sh you sold 25,000 orders. Right, so you did $100,000 in gross profits and the amount of orders you sold in those 30 days was 25,000. You would divide $100,000 by 25,000 orders and your GPPA would be $4.00. On average, I can't stress the importance enough that you want to do an average number, a gross profit per ASIN average, because you might have some SKUs that are doing really poorly and you might think your company's not doing so well, but you got to look at the big picture. Selling on Amazon, it's like a movie. It is not a picture. You can't just take a screenshot of one product that's selling poorly or one product that's selling really well. You have to analyze your company as a movie. So you need to analyze all the information over that period of time and get a better look and a deeper understanding of it because that paints a clearer image or a clearer video of what exactly is happening and if your Amazon business is profitable or not. So this is an average, right? The gross profit per ASIN average is $4 per unit. So you are making in gross profits before expenses $4 a unit every time you sell a product. Some you may be making $8, some you may be losing $4, some you may be only making $1.50, others you could be making six, but your average gross profit per ASIN is $4 a unit. First super important number to understand. You should really just take a minute, smash that pause button right after you hit the like button, of course, and, um, and pull this information. You should have this information documented. If you don't have this information documented, you are in a position to fail with your Amazon business. I guarantee you, I see it happen all the time. We work with hundreds of clients all over the world. And in the 2020, we're gonna be working with thousands of clients all over the world. And one of the biggest issues we see is lack of information when documenting profits and net profits and gross profits and orders, lacking that information and being totally clueless as to where their business stands. So if you got this information, smash that pause button, pull it up, do this math, figure out your profit, your gross profit per ASIN. All right, so now the next piece of information you're gonna need is your PCPA, or your production cost per ASIN. So PCPA, production cost per ASIN. And the way you calculate your production cost per ASIN is totaling your expenses, all your expenses, right? Gas, labor, um, pallet jack, any uh, dinners you may have went out on, all your expenses. So you should be analyzing this information and having it readily available in a Google document so you could just pull averages from month to month of what your production cost or expenses are, what your total expenses. I'm talking gas, travel, uh, dinners, boxes, tape, labor, rent, pallet jacks, anything that's an expense should be included in the expenses we're about to look at. So in order to calculate your PCPA or production cost per ASIN, you would take your expenses and divide them by that same number of orders. So let's say your expenses to make that gross profit before we, that we talked about of $100,000. So that was our gross profit. Our GP was $100,000. In order us for, for us to make that gross profit of $100,000, we had to expense or spend in expenses $50,000. Right, so we would divide, or you would divide that same $50,000 by that same 25,000 orders, and you would get your PCPA, your production cost per ASIN. What it costs you to get the product out the door 
adding up all your expenses and dividing it by the amount of orders you sell that month or those 30 days. It's super important to have this number, your PCPA, it's game changer. Production cost per ASIN, revolutionize the way you operate. So here, $50,000 in expenses divided by $25,000 in orders equals $2 per unit. So it costs us, or it costs you, $2 a unit just to get the product out the door. Just to produce that product costs you $2 a unit. Got to know this information. So now if we take our original $4, which we pulled from right here, $4 per unit from our GPPA, or gross profit per racing, was $4 a unit, $100,000 dollars in gross profits divided by the orders in 30 days 25,000 orders if we take that four dollars per unit in GPPA right and now we would subtract our PCPA which is our production cost per ASIN and we are left with a net profits on average per sale $2 every time we sell a product. So this $2 in net profits is actually pretty healthy because if you're doing $2 per ASIN on average times 25,000 orders, that means your net profit after all your expenses is 50K a month. That's huge, that's $600,000 a year. That's phenomenal. But the struggle comes in where most of the companies we analyze and we look at, they're closer to 10 cents to 50 cent net profit per ASIN. And that's where you run into an issue because then your company is not very profitable at all. You're doing a lot of work for not a lot of money. And you don't wanna be in this position. Most of the companies that contact us to analyze their company's health are in this position. And our goal as consultants is to get them out of this position and get them closer or above this position because this is when your company's healthy right when you're profiting a couple dollars every time you sell a product in net profits but if you're in this position your business is in trouble you got to be mindful of that but you don't know unless you analyze the numbers and now this could be used for any market not just ebay this could be used amazon walmart jet shopify it can be used across the board for any of your markets and basically all we discussed to wrap it up was taking your gppa your gross profit per asin which is gross profits divided by the number of orders getting this number which was four dollars here and then bringing it over to this page putting it down here gross ppa four dollars figuring out a production cost per ASIN, what it costs us to produce a product in expenses, and we got that number, it was $2, brought that back down here, subtracted the two, four minus two, and we have our net profit, or you have your net profit per ASIN. This is the number you're looking for. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, like I said earlier, of understanding your company's health. It goes so much deeper, streamlining efficiencies, understanding, um, how much it costs to produce a product as far as time there's just it's this is like the first level of a multi-layered cake that makes an amazon business successful so if you need any more information on it leave a comment below reach out to us make sure you follow us on social media facebook instagram TikTok, linkedin youtube you're already here we're watching it all love you smash that subscribe button turn on notifications stay lit